my mentality was like oh. I worked out like a madman. Like I was in the gym all day. A lot of reps. I mean, as long as you're working on yourself and you're trying to better yourself in those, those moments. How much more training I have done by simply starting at four. And then the critics came. Everybody was saying, oh, he went to Weber State. He's only 6'2". He's not really that athletic. Um, he didn't play against competition. He's 22 years old. Anything they could think of to, to put it into me, that was, that was what they were saying. And that wasn't nothing new to me. I had been up against it my whole life, so I came out and I proved it up. I'm not afraid to say I, I went into it. I didn't care who wanted to be my friend. I didn't care what people thought about me. I went into workouts. I showed them what I, what I knew I could do. You know, I went to the combine. I played both days because I wanted to show them that I wasn't scared. I'm not running from nobody. And I got picked six. And to a lot of people, that's a huge accomplishment. I was excited about it, but I knew what I wanted for myself. And in a press conference back in school, I told, I told the crowd there that I wanted to be rookie of the year. And some people might say I'd be crazy. And now here I am getting this award. And I'm not surprised by it. That's not, that's not meant to be a cocky statement, but I'm not surprised by it at all because I know that I put the work in to put myself in this position. So um, after everything that's happened this season, um, I just expect more from myself. And I want everybody here to know that I expect more next season from myself because winning this award is just, a, it's just letting me know that everything that I did leading up to this point, it paid off. You know, whether people are watching or whether you get credit for it or not, you just, you put the time in and you do it at a, a game pace, uh, you do it with focus, um, you do it while you hold yourself to a certain standard of, you know, where it's make 10 in a row at each spot at the end of your workout when you're tired and you, you probably don't want to do it. Just things like that over and over and over and over, um, over the years. Um, and you get better from the reps, but I think more so than just physically, you get better mentally and more confident in it because you've done it so often. You've done it when you're tired. You've done it when you didn't want to. Um, and then in, in, in the moments, uh, you know, end of the game, whether it's first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, a tough shot, an easy shot, um, you, you got the ultimate confidence that it's going to go in. And I think confidence is the biggest thing for shooters um, right next to just getting the reps in and knowing in your heart. Um, that you didn't cheat it. You know, you put the time in and, and you deserve to make those shots and, um, you know, you expect that result. As long as you're working on yourself and you're trying to better yourself in those moments. I worked out like a madman. Like, I was in the gym all day. I love to do it. I love to get better. I love to challenge myself. But my friends were better than me and they didn't work as hard, half as I did. And I was like, yo, what the is fucking going on, man? I'm like, I'm putting so much time in and these guys are better than me. And, you know, but I, the whole thing with me it was confidence. Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't believe that I was good. And, right. once, and once that kicked in, along with my work ethic and, you know, the people I had around me to push me and, and make sure I was good, it was just like, that's when it clicked for me. When I realized that, you know, this guy can stop me. At that time, you know, we didn't understand. But he was like, while you playing the game, somebody else playing the game. And then he like, let me know what that means by the time I get back home. He got back home, he was still locked in, playing the game. He like, y'all know what that means? We're like, nah. He like, while y'all in here playing video games, somebody actually out there working on their game. And then, since he put that message, said that message to us, he had to start begging us to come from outside, to come in the house to eat. Everybody talks about working, working hard, showing up early, showing up late, doing all. Everybody can do that. Everybody can do that. It's the mannerisms of the way they carry themselves. It's the way they compete. It's the way they listen. It's the way they absorb inf information, how coachable they are. The one thing all my athletes in business, in sports, the best of the best are so coachable. They're, they listen. They listen. They absorb the information. They pay attention. They're there. If you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, you start training again at six. You train from six to eight, right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, do it again, right? Those are two sessions. Right now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, you go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11, Right, relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four. And now you're back at it again, 
and seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four, right? And so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers it just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, it doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up.